Americans voice their anger over McCain's funeral processions, turning into a five-day anti-Trump rally by Amy Moreno for TruthFeedNews.com. Americans are furious at the political spectacle that occurred at John McCain's funeral. What should have been a time to celebrate and honor the deceased turned into a five-day anti-Trump rally. IJR, the funeral services for Senator John McCain were politically charged from start to finish. Here are just a few of the politically charged incidents from the senator's funeral services. In May, Senator McCain made it clear that he didn't want President Donald Trump to attend his funeral. President Trump tweeted his condolences to the family but refused to take questions from reporters on McCain himself. Two days after McCain's passing, President Trump returned to the White House, flags to full staff, foregoing a tradition that the rest of the D.C. was maintaining to keep the flag lowered until the internment. The White House later returned the flag to half staff. Meghan McCain jabbed President Trump during her speech, saying McCain's America was always great. The Hill compiled a list of all of the other speakers' jabs. President Trump returned uh, the favor, jabbing back with a tweet that said, Make America Great Again. Needless to say, there uh, has been a lot of highly charged political statements swarming the senator's passing. Not everyone was on board with the highly politicized funeral services. Some joked about the strange controversy, while others went as far as calling the event a political rally. Uh, Todd Starnes, there was a time in American history when uh, you could uh, tell the difference between a funeral and a political rally. Very well said. Chuck Woolery, even Jesus our Savior had a simple funeral. I'm sorry, I just can't hold back with this pomp and ceremony. I find it rather disturbing and distasteful. Robert J. O'Neill, if my daughter uses my a funeral to take petty political jabs, I'm definitely going to haunt her. Tim Young, watching John McCain's funeral, reminded me that I needed to make a list of all the people I hate so that when I die, everyone at my funeral can systematically crap talk them. Bernard B. Carrick, sadly, Megan uh, McCain seemed to do exactly what she slammed Trump for doing. Exactly. They were saying, talking about uh, Trump doing these things, and yet they were guilty of what they're accusing him of. What should have been reflection and celebration of a supposed, I would add, patriot's life had been turned into political theatrics and cheap shots. It's embarrassing and really disappointing. Ted Davis, without uttering the words Donald Trump, Megan McCain indicts the current president. Uh, we uh, gather here to mourn the passing of American greatness, the real thing, not cheap rhetoric from men who will never come near the sacrifice he gave so willingly. Those are her words, Megan's words. It's too bad she can't practice, uh, excuse me, participate in a funeral instead of lobbying political hand grenades. Yeah. Ken Cuccinelli. Matt Schlapp, thinking about funerals, I hope I have a, lots of time, but if not, anyone can come. Uh, will be about God and not politics and celebrate. Even some left-leaning users couldn't help but point out how odd it was to have a funeral be so politically charged. John Favreau, the entire funeral is a rebuke of the sitting president, pretty wild. Susan Glasser, make no mistake, the applause ringing out at the cathedral when Meghan McCain says America has no need to be made great again because America was always great is not standard. Never heard applause at a funeral here before. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a political rally. That's all it was, basically. You know, 
Uh, it's really disturbing and she should be ashamed of herself because even if they wanted her to do that, she should have declined to do something like that. Absolutely. At least her. Let Bush and Obama do what they think unless you go through their, uh, their uh, notes to see what they're going to say and just disapprove it. But she herself did it. I mean, that's quite disturbing actually. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.